Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Yes, I can. Good evening. Hi there. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. That something's. Okay, I guess we're done. Can you hear me? Yes? Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. Yes, I can. Perfect, there you go. All right, so really nice to be here with you today, guys. Uh, well, welcome, good evening. Hope you started your week, uh, well, with the right foot, right, full of energy. And well, let's get down to business then. So uh, first, welcome uh, Blanquita. Ana Beatriz, welcome back. Nice that you're here again. Hope you're feeling better. Nice. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Nice. Welcome also, Carlos, Christian, and Maria Elena. Really nice to have you here. Okay. So let's make it official, right? I'm going to take the attendance in pretty much we do as we, well, what we always do, you say present and try to turn on your uh, camera while um, let's see well i say your name all right so here we go let's start so anna beatriz campos de guzman present teacher thank you very much eh, beatriz then we have a eh, blanca elizabeth albarenga present teacher all right, thank you, Blanquita. Nice. Then we have a Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thanks a lot, Carlos. Very good. And next we have Carlos Javier Crespin. Carlos Javier, not here yet. I so, trabajar de noche, teacher. Oh, I see. Okay. So maybe, well, maybe he's not going to connect. But anyway, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. So next we have Christian Ernesto Lasso. Present teacher. All right. Thank you, Christian. Very good. Then we go with Denise Grisel Brizuela. Denise Grisel, not here yet. So then we have Ember Giovanni Polio Morales. Ember, Ember, not here. All right. So then we have a Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Francis, not here yet. So then we continue with a Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez. Jose Eduardo, not here yet. So then we have Juan Carlos Rivas Covel. Juan Carlos, not here. All right. And next we have Karen Vanessa Murataya. Karen Vanessa, not here yet. So then we have Luis Alfonso Martinez. All right. Thank you very much, Luis. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you. Ya pasó, <laughs> nice. Y ya, ya casi estamos terminando ya. No, mentira. <laughs> ahorita, ahorita. So, y let me see Denise Grisel Brizuela. Yes, teacher. For the moment, I can on the camera because. I am in the seguro de Yupango. Oh my, hope it's nothing serious, but that's that's okay. Don't I worry. For other person, I ah, okay. It's not you. Ah, okay, nice, nice. Okay, don't worry then, uh, Grisel, no problem. So, well, there you go. So then we continue with let's see Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. All right, thank you very much, Maria Elena. Nice. Then we have Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Nelson, not here 
yet, okay? So then we have uh, Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. All right, thank you very much, Omar. Good. Uh, next, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present. Thank you very much, Oscar. And then we have, last but not least, uh, Jenny Suleima Santos. Not here yet. Okay. So there you go. Let me see someone that I didn't mention, Juan Carlos Rivas. I hear you, Chair. Okay, you're here yeah, now. Here. <laughs> but that's the good thing that you're here. So nice. So thank you very much. All right. So gotcha. Okay, then. So let's start then with today's class. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about a different topic from the one that we were starting the other day. So let's see. Um, before we start with this uh, topic we are going to be covering today, let's do something. Let's review some, uh, let's say, vocabulary that can be useful for us since, um, well, we're going to be talking a little bit about places around the city. So here we go. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. Oh, Christian wrote something here. Oh, he's driving to his house. Okay, Christian, no worries. No worries. Okay. So here we go then. I'm going to share my screen for the rest. And here we go. All right. So we're going to play a little... Uh, vocabulary game, but in this case, it's going to be like a memory game. So we're going to be working in two teams. So let me see. Uh, let's see. All right, so let's make it, how many are we right now? Like 11 people. So one, two, three, Four. Hmm. Okay, now I'm just gonna make two groups as we regularly do. So here we go. Okay, so we have a, let's see. We have here, okay. Group one, it's going to be then a Blanquita, Carlos, Christian, but Christian is just a listener. Omar and Oscar, all right? So you are team number one. Team number two, we have Ana Beatriz, eh, Grisel, Juan Carlos, eh, Luis Alfonso, and Maria Elena, all right? So you're going to be eh, group number two. And I guess someone just joined here. I guess it's Ember. So, Ember, you're going to be with team number two, all right? So, nice. So, let's start then. So, we're going to try, a, we're going to try to match the picture that we're going to see in one panel. So, for example, here. So, what's this? What do you think it is? In English, of course. Cinema, maybe? Aha, uh -huh, exactly. A cinema, right? Or a movie theater. Very good. So we will have to match this picture with the name, right, of the place of the city. In this case, I got stadium. So no, right? It wasn't like that. So we're going to take turns, but people in yours, in the same team, you can help, right? The person that is going to decide um, to give me like the the panel that you want just tell me the the letter and the number like d2 c3 d2 d4 etc etc all right if you make a match you can uh, well you can continue right 
But if you don't make a match, then it's the other uh, group's turn. So let's see. Let's give it a try. So let's start with group number one. So let me see. Um, wait. Close here where I had the names. So let's start with Blanquita. B2. B2. So we have B2. Uh -huh. It's a school. It's a little nombre. Uh -huh. You need now the name. Como? You need to match it with the name of the building. Tiene que ser la pareja de la foto. Nombre de qué es la foto, ¿no? En este caso sería school. Sería D5. D5. Let's see. D5 says Blanquita. Uy, uy, uy. No. Group number two, you have a present there. So, Ana Beatriz. And uh, D1. Uh, which one? D1. D1. All right. D1. Mark. Uh, D5. B5, in B5 we have beach, so no match. Thank you very much. Let's see, uh, group number one, Carlos. D4 in D5. D4 in, let me see, D4 in... D5. D. D. D, as Five. in Diana. Yes. Let's see. Nice, very good. So there you go, team number one. You got one point. So you continue, Carlos. C five. C five. Let's see. Bank. A two. A two. We are just guessing here. Let's see. Library, so nothing, all right? But you have one point already, very good. Let's see, team number two, uh, Grisel. Okay. Um, A2. A2, let's see, A library. In A5. In A5, this one, let's see. <laughs> Movie theater, ay, 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 we gave away another one. Let's see, uh, group number one, Omar. Uh, Lady B1. Uh, B1, let's see. Ay, 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 we missed the chance. So, a uh, hospital, I believe. Lady C3. Letter C3. Let's see. Ay, ay, ay. No, we gave another away. Group number two, eh, Juan Carlos. Eh, B. B1. B1. Let's see. All right. In D2. In D2. This one. Yes. Let's see. Mm, no match. Let's see then. Group number one. This is your chance again. So we go with uh, Oscar. Teacher, lo vamos a robar el punto. <laughs> Let's see. B3, A5. B3. Aha, A5. There you go, the movie theater. Very good. So you continue then, Oscar, since you made the match. 
D3. D3. Let's see. D3. Ay, ay, ay. C1. 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 Let's see. Gane otro, que gane otro. <laughs> nice. Very good, Oscar. It's a group number one. Two points. So, group number two. This is your chance. Uh, Luis. Okay, B1. B1. And D3. And D3. Let's see. Excellent. There you go. Nice, Luis. So, you continue. Okay. B, B2. B2. This one, right? Yes, sir. Let's see. Ah, the school. We... D, D, D2. D2. Let's see. D2. We no match, no match. So group number one. We go back to Blanquita. D1. D1. Let's see. There you go. Park. Mm -hmm. C4. C4, D1, C4, we have here, oh my God, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice, very good, Lekita, you got superpowers. So good, so you continue. A2. A2, let's see, library, oh. <laughs> the uh -huh. five. The B5. This one. B5. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, the beach. Wow. So no. All right. But nice, nice. So let's see. Group number one, three points. Group number two, one point. So we continue with Maria Elena. Mm, A2. A2. Library. C3. C3. Let's check. Excellent. There you go. Nice. So very good. Point for you. So you continue, Maria Elena. A3. A3. Let's see. Oh, there you go. B5. B5. Let's see. No, perdona, Maria Elena. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All A3. right. Nice. Three and three. You continue. A4. A4. Oui, we had seen that one before. But where? C5. Let's see. C5, this one? Yes. Let's see. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are on fire. Very good. All oh right. Four points. <laughs> All right. Let's see. You continue. A1. A1. Hmm. Grocery store. Uh, D2. D2. Would that be? No, no, it wasn't that. What's it? What's well, we're gonna review that later. But good, nice, Maria Elena. So group two, four, group one, three. So Carlos, your turn. C2. C2. Let's see. We oui, community center. Before. Before. Let's see. Ay, 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 we gave it away. Jesus, let's see. Uh, group number two, Beatriz, your turn. Este... C1. C1. 
Oh my God, there you go. Uh, D2. B, this one? D2, D2. D2, this one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, okay. ay, 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 no, that wasn't the Please. school. <laughs> Let's see. Group number two. Uh, no, group number one. Omar. This is your chance, Omar. C1. C1. D2. This one? Yes. Let's see. Nice. There you go, Omar. So, four and four. You continue. Okay. Letter A. Letter A. A1. Let's see. One. Letter one. Yes. A one. Grocery store. Letter B four. Letter C before. Before this one. Let's yes. see. Yes. Oh my god, there you go. So excellent. Grocery store. Good. And the last one. Let me see. Hey, let, me, let me see two. Yeah. Me, D two. D two. Are you sure? Nah, I'm just yes. kidding. There you go. So, <laughs> so final score, group number two. Four points, group number one, six points. So I clap for you, team number one, who were the winners. So excellent. All right. So as you can see, well, here we have just some places, right, that we can find in, in a city. In some of them, well, most of them are very common. Um, maybe we it is just worth mentioning this one, grocery store. What's a grocery store? What's that? Tienda. Ah, it's just like, uh, yeah, right? A place where we can go and buy vegetables, milk, little things like that, right? No es tienda de groserías, right? Uh -uh. It's like, <laughs> no, I think you're gonna, I see that's a very good thing. So this is what we would know as a tienda de abarrotes, una tiendita, right? So that's a grocery store. And then we have also probably a community center. A community center is like a, this place where there's like an organization of the neighbors sometimes in a, in a neighborhood or in, a, in the city, right? They help other people, people in need. They organize uh, activities, et cetera, et cetera. That's a community center. And well, the rest of them, I guess they are uh, very common, right? Self-explanatory. So there you go. So nice. So speaking about the city, uh, we're going to talk today a little bit about giving directions, right? How to get to certain places, how to provide directions to a person so that this person can reach a place or so that this person can go somewhere, right? So one of the first things we're going to check is a little video on giving directions. So let's see. All right, so I'm gonna play this uh, video that I have for you so that we can get familiar with some of the vocabulary that we use whenever we ask or give directions. So let me just share my screen here. Okay, so here we go. Let's pay attention to the video and then we talk a little bit about it. Listen. Video for Unit 13. Today we are talking about giving directions. All right. 
let's get started. Howard is asking Bob for directions about how to get to different locations in the city. Let's listen to their conversation. How do I get to the post office? Go up Main Street. Turn left on 2nd Avenue. Go down 2nd Avenue. It's on the left, across from the bookstore. How can I get to the park? Walk down Center Street. Turn left on 1st Avenue. Walk up 1st Avenue. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Giving directions with imperatives. When we need directions, we say, for example, how do I get to the post office? Get to is the verb we use for arrive to. For example, how do I get to the post office? Or how do I get to the movie theater? Or how do I get to your house? We use get to for the verb arrive to. For the directions, we use imperatives. For example, go up or go down Main Street. Next, we say, for example, turn left or turn right on 2nd Avenue. And next we say walk up or walk down 2nd Avenue. So let's review the imperatives. For example, when we say go up or go down, we use the street. For example, go up Main Street or walk up or walk down and the street for example walk up Main Street or walk down Main Street now when we come to another street we need to turn so we say turn left on and the street or maybe turn right on and the street so for example turn left on 2nd Avenue or turn right on 2nd Avenue very good now it's time to practice How do I? Ah, Jesus, he gave us the answer already. So how do I get to, right? That's pretty much how we can ask for directions in case that we are lost or in case that we don't know how to arrive any specific place, right? So how do I get to, right? How do I get to the hospital? How do I get to the bookstore? How do I get to a whatever restaurant, etc., etc. Nice. Get to the bookstore.
What about in this case? What will be the first step? Let me see. Let me ask directly to Mr. Ember. Yes, teacher. What do you think is the first step here? I want to go to the bookstore. So what do you think should be here? Uh, maybe walk up. Walk up? Walk up. Walk up, let's see, would that be the first step? Go Very good. Up First Avenue. Nice, Ember. So walk up or go up right First Avenue. Since we are here, right, where we have the, the uh, drawing of the, of the tourists, so we go up here. So very good. Let's see. Or walk up First Avenue. What about the second step? Let's see, uh, Yeni. Uh, turn right. Turn right. Would that be the second step? Let's see. Turn, turn right. right. Indeed. Exactly right. Turn right. In this case, on Center Street. Very good. Nice, Jenny. Notice that in English, we use the name of the streets, right? In El Salvador, Many people are not accustomed to use the name of the street or the number of the streets. Usually, most of the people here say, Por ahí, por un po hay un pollo campero, por ahí, o hay una despensa de Juan. We just give points of reference, but we don't use like specific directions. In English, it, usually they provide specific directions, like with streets and everything. So, very good. Nice, Yeni. Center Street. Let's see. And what about the third step? Uh, let me see. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. Nelson. Hello. Hey, Nelson. <laughs> What do you think is the next step here? We are here, so we, since we need to go in this direction, what do you think I should say here? Walk? Uh, well, corner. I'm sorry? Corner? Well, corner? No. Corner? Mm, no. Well, corner? Not sure. Maybe not. Maybe something uh, else. Any other idea, Nelson? Oh. Center Street, well. In the front? A walk in front. In front, Center Street, would that be? Let's see. What? So we have up center uh, oops up uh, down. Oh. in this case walk up or down yeah. depending how you want to say it right walk up i would say again uh center street right but no worries that's okay Nelson. good okay street and let's or see walk down center street it's uh. What about this one? What would you say? What do you think would be the last step? Let's see. Luis. Sorry, teacher, I don't, I don't see the bookstore. Oh, it's this one here. Second Avenue Bookstore. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. so, third, third, third left. Mm, but we're trying to complete this sentence. It's the post office. It's cross. Across? It's from cross the post office, 
Let's see, would that be? Across from. Oh across my God, from. here you go, bingo. So it's right across from the post office. Very good, nice, Luis. So that would be the last Very step good. there. Nice. Now, instead of completing this one here, now we are going to have a little practice, which is going to be a listening practice, all right? So let me share. I shared a document in the WhatsApp group. Um, we're going to use this document as a reference for the practice, but I'm going to try to send it also here in the, in the chat. Uh, here in Zoom. So let me see if I can just send it here. Um, okay, let's see. All right, here it goes. Okay. Give me one second because it's still loading. There. there you go. So you're going to receive it in no time. So it's a PDF file. And once you open or once you receive the file, then you're going to see this that I'm going to share with you right now. All right, so this is what you are going to see once you open the file. First, we have some practice, right? Some preparation in terms of the vocabulary we're going to listen. And here it says, exercise number one, do this exercise before you listen. Write the correct word in the boxes below the picture. Here you have some vocabulary and you're going to match the word with the pictures that you have here. So let's see if you can do it. I'm gonna give you just like four minutes for you to match the vocabulary there. Um, you're not going to send me this. This is just a practice, right? So. If you can just do it in your notebook or you can just, uh, if you can edit uh, the PDF, even better, right? So you can write it here or as you prefer, right? So let's see, I'm gonna give you four minutes and if you need some help, you let me know. So four minutes now.
All right, did you finish? Not yet. Yes, you're done. All right, let's start checking these words then. So which one do you think is the first one? This picture. <laughs> okay. So what about this one? What do you think it is? Run that about. Roundabout, exactly. Roundabout. This is like when we are driving and we use a Waze or a Google Maps, right? It says, gire a la derecha y tome la rotonda, right? So, that, but we don't call it like that. So, we say el redondel, right? So, that's what we use. So, that's a roundabout. Very good. What about this one? Take the second right. Excellent. Take the second right. So we have one here, one detour to the right, but it's not the one we need. So it's the second right. Exactly. Very good. What about number three? Next two. Next two. Easy, right? Next two. So we have these two objects or buildings here. So they are next to each other. What about this one, number four? Go past. Go past, no. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right, exactly. So uh, just turn right, right? Nice. What about number five? <laughs> Go and stay on. First, right. Go straight on. No. Go past. Go past. Exactly. This is the one that is go past. Why is this a go past? Because we're taking into, well, as a point of reference, also the object here, that gray square that is there. Let's say that this could be a, a hospital, right? So go past the hospital. So you continue after this building right there you go what about a uh, number six this one take the second left exactly take the second left right bingo then we have number seven this one traffic light traffic, light. traffic lights exactly so those things that help us to and sometimes don't help us to uh, drive, right? Uh, to make pauses, to stop, to let other people walk or drive. Uh, those are traffic lights. Then we have this one, number eight. Let's try it on. Exactly. Go try straight on, right? Go straight on. So just to continue in the same direction. Uh, number nine. Opposite. Opposite, very good. So there we have two buildings, right? Opposite to each other. Similar to across from, right? Opposite, good. And the last one. Turn left. Turn left, exactly. Just turn left. Okay. So now that we are familiar with some of the expressions here to give directions, here we have a map. So first, <clears throat> what are we going to do? We're going to listen to an audio in which we're going to hear four people giving directions. So based on the map that we have there, we are going to try to follow the directions and we're going to see where the direction is leading, right? For example, if you think that uh, the first person is gonna give you directions uh, to go to the cafe, then you're right here, uh, to the cafe, right? And so and so, depending on the directions that the person gives, that's what we, uh, that's the place we're going to write here in the blank space. All right, I'm going to play the audio twice okay so let's see how you do it 
So here we go. All right. So listen. Here we go with the first time. So listen. A. Go straight on, then take the first left onto Green Street. Walk past the library, and it's the building next to the library on the left. By the way, we start here in the X in the map, all right? So you consider that, and we're starting here. Here we go. B. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights. You'll see a shop on the right. Go past that, and it's on the right next to the shop. C. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and go straight on until you get to the roundabout. At the roundabout, turn left. Go past the theatre. It's the building next to the theatre, opposite the hospital. D. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights and take the second right onto King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the bookshop opposite the cafe. This recording was brought to you by... There you go. All right. So that was the first time. I'm going to play it one more time since the beginning and you try to pay attention to it. And then we check. So here we go. Listen one more time. A. Go straight on, then take the first left onto Green Street. Walk past the library and it's the building next to the library on the left. B. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights. You'll see a shop on the right. Go past that and it's on the right next to the shop. C. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and go straight on until you get to the roundabout. At the roundabout, turn left. Go past the theatre. It's the building next to the theatre opposite the hospital. D. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights and take the second right onto King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the bookshop opposite the cafe. This recording was brought to you by the... There you go. All right. So let's see, let's see. Let's see if we actually got the idea here. So what do you think about the first person, speaker A? He's giving directions to what place? The post office. Post office, very nice. good, Ember, nice. So the post office, that's the first one. What about letter B? Underworld. A station. Underground station. Nice. Underground Very good. Underground station. That's letter B. What about letter C? Cinema. The, the cinema. The cinema. Very good, Yeni. The cinema. Nice. That's letter C. And letter D? The bus station. The bus station. Very good. Nice, Jenny. The bus station. Exactly. So those were the, uh, the four places that they mentioned, right? Post office, underground station, cinema, and the bus station. Now, if I ask you, for example, to give me some directions, if I, if, let's suppose that I'm here where DX marks the spot. And let's say that I want to go to the Italian restaurant. 
how would I go to the Italian restaurant? Let's see, um, Karen. Hey there. Go straight on the Bond Street. Uh -huh. and turn right at the second. Uh -huh. I remember. <laughs> at the second. Right. Right. Uh huh. Where? What's the name of this street? On. Ay, ya me perdí. <laughs> me regreso entonces. <laughs> so, I walk straight on Bond Street, right? So, there we were good. Ajá. So, I'm walking here. Yes. Ajá. Should I take this right? On Green Street? They come out on King's Road. Ah, the second right here on King's Road. All right. Yes. Over here. Uh huh. Yeah. Go straight. Uh huh. Past the underground station. Uh huh. Across the cafe. Uh huh. And from the bus station. All right, so I, let me see, the Italian restaurant is right in front of the bus station. Yeah, we can say so, right? So very good, right? Nice, nice. Here, <laughs> you can also use this one, right? Um, where is it? Go past, right? Go past uh, the underground station, go past the cafe. And next to the cafe or in front of the bus station, you'll find the Italian restaurant. Nice, Karen. Very good. Let's see. Juan Carlos, how do I get to, let's see, uh, the police station? How do I get to the police station, Juan Carlos? Okay. Uh, walk up. Uh -huh. Walk up. Where? Bond Street? On Bond Street. Uh -huh. uh, border. border. I would say in the roundabout, when we reach a roundabout, we talk about, we count the exits, right? First exit, second exit, third exit. Roundabout. In the roundabout, take the first, second, or third exit. First. The first one here. First one. Uh -huh, so I'm on King's Road. Here's King's Road. Uh -huh. and, and that's it. Or no? Uh, I, need, I need to go to the police station. <laughs> yes, it's, it's uh, in the corner. But I'm here in, on King's Road. King's Road. You tell me the first exit here. Cross Hospital, Front Cinema ah. Theater. Let me see. So the here, I'm, I can see the underground station. Should I cross the street to the theater? From... Uh -huh. Yes. In my case, border From about. Here? What? Uh, border about. Uh, uh -huh. Rodier. Mm, I see would it? say. Uh -huh. O sea, en este caso, ajá. Ajá, o sea, en este caso, rodeé y me metí a la... Ahí donde me perdí, porque ya prácticamente cuando rodeo, no sé qué tengo enfrente, porque lo tengo uh, a la par. All right. 
Good. So then we would say, or I would say, on Bond Street, take the second exit, right? Take the second exit, not the first one, but the second exit in the roundabout, and right in, across the bookshop, you will find the police station. That's how I would do it. Or I can also say, take the third exit, one, two, three, and right in front the theater, you will see the police station, right? Or to your right, you will find the police station. So more or less, right? Por aquí nos perdimos in the first exit, <clears throat> but so-so, right? Nice. Let's see one more. Um, let me see. Ta -da 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 -da. Um, Grisel, how do I go to, let me see, how do I go to the factory? Sorry, teacher. That's fine, don't worry. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. <laughs> you walk up on uh -huh. Bond Street. On Bond Street, uh huh. And the traffic light. Uh huh. Turn. Turn. Uh -huh. The right. Turn right on, on the, the traffic on light. The green. Uh -huh. on, the, on the Green Street. On Green Street, very good. Uh -huh. You walk up and go straight on. Go straight on, okay. Uh -huh. And the factory is to right. Is to my to the right. Yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> so you can say go past the museum, and the factory is to your right. So okay. there you go. Nice, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> nice, nice, Michelle. Let's see the last one. Let me see. Um, Carlos, Carlos, how do I get to the cinema? The cinema. Uh, go, go up Bond Street. Uh, on Bond Street, uh huh. Um, take uh, across the traffic line. All right, so I go past the traffic uh, light. Uh -huh. Traffic light, uh, say the tears exit. And, the, and the exit, one, and two, the, three. And uh -huh. the, oh, how do you say, rotonda. Roundabout. Roundabout, uh -huh. say, say the, the tear uh, exit. Very good. Uh, ¿Cuál me tocó? Perdón. <risa> Nos enfocamos en el viaje, en el destino. Perdón, el no. destino. The cinema. The cinema. Ok, thank you. Thank you. Cinema. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. The Teddy Terror Exit. Uh -huh. eh, Walt the King Road. Walk or walk on King's Road, uh huh. On King's Road and the next to the theater, the theater. The theater, uh huh. There's the cinema. There's the cinema. There you go. Nice. So next to the uh, the cinema is next to the theater. Pretty good. So nice. All right. Excellent. So pretty much this is how I would uh, provide some directions to people. I know, as I was saying, here in El Salvador, probably we don't use that much the number or the name of the street. We are more accustomed to providing like points of reference, but still, right? This is how 
we can, uh, this is how we would do it also in English. So very good. Now, before we continue with this, I'm going to take attendance here for the second time. So let's see. Okay. So here we go with the attendance now. So, I'm sorry. Let's see. It's going to stop sharing for a minute. All right. So once you listen to your name, it just say present. So here we go. Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Y Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present, teacher. All right, thank you very much. We go with Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you. Then we have a Carlos Javier Crespin. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carlos. Good. Then we have Christian Ernesto Lasso. Present teacher. All right. Thank you, Christian. Then we have Denise Grisel Brizuela. I'm here, teacher. Present. All right. Thank you, Grisel. Very good. We continue with Ember Giovanni Polio. Thank you, Ember. Nice. We continue with Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Not here tonight. All right. So we continue with Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez. Jose Eduardo, not here. So we continue with Juan Carlos Rivas Joel. Present teacher. All right, thank you, Juan Carlos. Very good. Uh, we continue with Karen Vanessa Murataya. Present. Thank you very much, Karen. And then we have Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Very nice. Then we have Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Present. Thank you, Maria Elena. Nice. Uh, next, Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Present teacher. All right, thank you, Nelson. And then we continue with Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. Thank you, Omar, very good. Uh, next, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present. Thank you, Oscar. And we have Yeni Suleima Santos. Present. Thank you very much, Yeni. Nice. Okay, then. So there you go. All right. So if you check, well, following or just to continue with this topic, if you check your book on page, let me see, that's page 23. Page 23, let me share here the book. All right, there you're going to find something related to what we were studying just now. And it says directions and instructions. And the first thing we have is uh, our regular conversation in which we have two people uh, well, talking to something related to different areas in, in like in a building, right? So it says, I'm gonna read it for you. First, you just listen, then I'm gonna tell you what you're going to do. It says, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Now, any new words in this conversation? Mm. 
No, right? Pretty understandable, I would say. So let's see. Uh huh. Someone's got a question? No? Okay. So let's have a little practice with this conversation. So let me see. Um, all right. Let's see. Over here. So, Luis, you're going to be Walter. And let's see. Um, Maria Elena, you're going to be Mary. So, let's see how you do it. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new cloud safety engineer. Nice. Hello, everybody. I am Mary. I am providing some safety and instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk the green in the yellow line. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to wear, wear air clothes all the time. time. It's important. Not to get close to red yeah. areas. Areas. Areas, exactly. Red areas. Nice. That was good. Excellent. So let's see. Walter, um, let me see. Omar, you're going to be Walter. And Karen, you're going to be Mary. Okay. All right. Omar, you are Walter, so you start. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce you. Pleasure. It's a pleasure. Pleasure to introduce a new floor safety engineer. 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 Hello, everybody. I'm Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear to wear the earplugs. To wear to wear the earplugs. Uh -huh. To wear the earplugs. All the time. Mm -hmm. It is important not to get close to red areas. Very good, nice. So, in this, um, in this one, if there is something if it's important, right? for example, the word yellow, yellow, not yellow, right? not yellow, but yellow, yellow. And there was also this word here, earplugs. Earplugs. Is if some part of some safety equipment we wear or we would wear in our ears in case or in places where there's like a lot of noise, right? So that protects your ear, right, from any damage. So very good. Okay. Last, uh -huh, tell me. And what is helmet? Helmet. Yes. Helmet is also part of your equipment, your security equipment. So it protects your head, right? So it's what engineers and some uh, workers wear in the head. Casco, right? Nice. It's very good. So let's see. One more pair. So there we have then. Uh, um, so, Walter, let's see, Oscar, and Mary, Yemi. Let's see. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Jenny? Sorry, <laughs> hello everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some 
Say for the instruction today. Tell us about that, Mr. Murray. Miss Mary. Miss Murray. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close the red areas. Close to red areas. Uh, areas. 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 There you go. Areas. <laughs> nice. So <laughs> there is also this word here, walk, right? Walk. The, we don't pronounce the L. And well, careful with the titles, right? In this case, Miss, Miss Mary, right? Miss Mary. But good. All right. So uh, as you can see, well, these two people are talking a little bit about uh, safety, right? Uh, safety instructions in this case. Now, here we have something. Well, here we have a little exercise. We're going to work on these two exercises here. In the first one, it says, see the diagram of the Rex facilities and identify the different places. So we're going to pretty much just mark or we're just going to identify the places here according to the letters that we have there. And then we have the second part in which uh, here we have some questions. It says, you are at the parking and you have these questions. What are the restrooms? Where is quality control? Where is the manager office or the manager's office? And where is the exit? So with this information or using this information, we're just going to change a little bit this and we're going to create a short conversation pretending that one of you is going to give directions to another person that probably is a new employee or is a person who is just a visitor in the company, right? So in the conversation, you're going to give directions to, or you're going to tell this person about these places, right? So you can use your creativity with the conversation as long as you provide the directions for these places that you are seeing here. The other person, of course, needs to ask the proper questions. Or if you want to change, let's say, a, the name of the areas, because maybe that's not something you would use at your workplace, you can do it, right? So if you want to just ask about the lobby, for example, or if you want to ask for where the cafeteria is, it's up to you. You can also change uh, the name of the rooms there. All right. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to give you, let's say, eight minutes for you to complete this, um, this uh, exercise. So the complete thing. This one, well, pretty much is just about writing uh, the names here. So... There is not much we can do since we don't, we cannot write on the book, right? So let's just focus on this one, right? This is more uh, some vocabulary you can use, but let's focus on this one, on the conversation, okay? So I'm going to give you like uh, seven, eight minutes for you to complete this conversation. And let's see, I'm going to create the groups or the pairs so that you can start. The chair. Tell me. Uh, in this case, what is, what is my, my position in the map? In the map? Um, oh, gotcha. In this case, I guess we can just identify the, um, probably or that we are in the reception, I would say. So in this one, in letter B, since it's like the entrance, I would say, right? So um, we're going to think that we are here, right? In, in, in point B, which is the reception. And then you're going to give uh, the directions to the different uh, places here. As I said, you can change them, right? If you want to give uh, the instructions instead of the restrooms, uh, you want to give the instructions on how to go to the exit, that's fine, okay? So let's see. The groups 
uh, are going to be, uh, well, first we have a trio here. Well, Christian, who is a listener, is going to be with Maria Elena in Nelson. Uh -huh. Tell me. For the moment, I can participate. Uh, you're uh, sure. Oh, no, nice. Don't worry. <laughs> That's fine, Grisel. Good. So let me just move then. Let me just make some movements here. All right. So Maria Elena then with Nelson and Christian. Then I have Karen. You're going to be working with, I guess I'm going to move you here all right so we're going to make a little change here okay so sorry since christian is just a listener then it's going to be maria elena nelson and juan carlos so you're going to work together then we have blanquita and karen then we have uh, carlos antonio and ember then we have Luis Alfonso and in this case, eh, Anita, Ana Beatriz. Then we have eh, um, Omar, you're going to be working with, let me see, Grisel, who is just a listener right now, and Jenny, right? So you're going to be working together. And let me see, uh, Oscar, I'm going to move you to this group. So Oscar, you're gonna be working also with Carlos Antonio and Ember. So you're going to work together uh, with Oscar. And that's pretty much it, okay? So, I'm going to start the small room so that you can start working on this. Once we finish, uh, we come back to the main session and you perform those conversations. So the rooms are open, so you can start working now. There you go.
All right, let's see. So let's wait for the rest. They'll be here in some seconds. All right. Okay. Okay, so I guess here we have everybody now. All righty. So let's see, let's see. Okay, so I hope that you actually finished uh, the conversation. So let's see, any volunteers to present first? Any brave soul would like to go first? Me. Oh, nice, there you go. That's the spirit, excellent. All right, so Ember. So we have Ember uh, was working with Carlos and Oscar. Okay, so let's see. Ready, lights, camera, action. Uh, so we... Solamente serían las preguntas de abajo, ¿verdad? Uh, it was a conversation. Right, using those questions, but in a conversation. Ah, bueno, oh, 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 oh. ah caray. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you didn't do it that way? No, you no more hecho la conversación, solamente ah, okay. la pregunta. <laughs> All right, <laughs> no worries. No worries. So let's see. <laughs> so don't worry, give me the answers. Let's see what, how, you, how you did uh, like the directions to go to those places. Let's see. Uh, number one, uh -huh. where are the restrooms? Mm -hmm. um, across the door, turn right and walk 10 meters. Walk right and uh -huh. walk 10 meters. Okay. Good. <laughs> Let's see. Oscar and Carlos. <laughs> Number two. Uh -huh. is the, where is the quality control? Mm -hmm. um, quality control. Level F. Yeah. Pass the door, turn uh -huh. left, uh -huh. and go straight on the parking, uh -huh. uh, turn right, uh, and the next, next to the side. Mm, yeah. mm. Next to the... Uh... No, 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 uh -huh. excuse me. Left, no, to to right, and uh -huh. the, and the here, here is the the restroom. No, 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 perdón. Quality uh -huh. control, left. Quality control. <laughs> okay, <laughs> ya me perdió. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the the quality control room, right? <laughs> nice. It, it, there we have something next to it. What, what is it next to the quality control room? Left or left? Uh -huh. well, what's next to the quality control rooms? Next to the, the exit, exactly, the exit. the exit. Very good. All right. To the exit. Nice, very good. Uh, teacher, yeah. the manager uh -huh. office. Yeah, let's see. Uh, okay. Enter the door. Uh -huh. We'll call it the production area uh -huh. between between the auditor office and the restroom. Uh -huh. There you go. You will find there in the manager's office. So very good. Nice. And the last one, well, the exit. We already mentioned the exit, right? 
So it was pretty much the same for the uh, quality control, but it's right next to that room, right? So uh, pretty much the same. All right, very good. So nice, it wasn't like a conversation, but still uh, it was like a nice, uh, it was the right directions to get to those places. So very good. So let's see, anyone who would like to present that conversation. Oh, todos se confundieron. No. What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh my God. So nobody did a conversation. No, no understanding. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Jesus. Okay. So no worries. It we understand, but I don't. We don't practice. <laughs> Oh, okay. In my you, got you got it, but you didn't get to practice. Yes. But you did the conversation then, or no? Yes. Ah, yes. nice. Ah, okay, okay. So let's see. Can you try presenting that conversation? Maria Elena and let's see. Juan Carlos and Nelson. All right. Would you like to give it a try? <laughs> o solo la hicieron, no, no, se, no se coordinaron. Es que la hicimos, pero mm. no la practicamos. No, la, ni la terminamos tampoco. Faltó. Oh my God, okay, okay, nice. Que llegamos? <laughs> pero podemos hacer el pedazo. Let's see, let's Para give it a try, okay. Vamos a intentar. All right. Yeah, Juan Carlos. Hey, how you doing, Mr. Gabarrete and Miss Maria Elena? Nice. I'm fine, Juan Carlos and Nelson. I am need go to the manager office, Juan Carlos. Okay. A first time or oh, first of all, mm -hmm. first of all, the first a door and entry to reception area. Enter the reception area. Uh -huh. Turn on right and you find the office. The auditor office. Turn right, turn on right, the door of the. And you see the the open the, the door of the manager office. All right, next to it, you'll see uh, the door for the manager's office. Yes. Uh huh. All right. You are there. Yeah, ya hemos llegado. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. Something else? Something. No, 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 that's it. Oh, that's, that's it? it. That's ah, it. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, nice. Thank you. Nelson solo proveo ahí apoyo logístico también. <laughs> 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 no no. Yeah, I know that. Just kidding. Okay. Nice. All right, but that was good. Nice. Excellent. So let's see. Well, the rest, I guess we got confused. Entonces, me imagino que el resto hizo lo mismo. Nos respondieron las preguntas y de cómo llegar a estos lugares, ¿no? Okay. <laughs> so there you go. Don't worry about that. So that's fine. So I guess if that's the case, eh, we pretty much heard the first group and they, well, they gave us the directions to reach these places. Okay then, so nice. So eh, speaking of this, eh, like not just directions, but also eh, this conversation that we eh, reviewed also had, let me see, let's go back to it. Something related to security uh, measures, right? To safety uh, 
at the office or at the workplace. So if you notice there are some safety instructions here um, and there we have like also this kind of um, scenario in which we are uh, thinking or that, or we actually imagine that there is uh, an emergency there. But before going there, let's review the safety instructions. It says, uh, we have this list here, this chart where it says, wear a helmet all the time, walk between the yellow lines, don't touch any machine, wear the earplugs all the time, and wear industrial boots, industrial boots. There is a mistake there. We shouldn't have that S. So it's industrial boots. And don't get close to red areas. Does some of you work under these safety instructions or do you need to wear any special equipment or do you have this production area at work, some of you? And if so, how is it? Or no, nobody works with this equipment or with these rules? No? In my case, I don't uh -huh. use. You don't use, uh huh? The, the safari equipment. Uh huh. No, you know, there's no need for that in your case. In my case, uh -huh. uh, it's over because um, many compañeros, uh, co workers, uh -huh. co -workers, co -workers. Um, driving in motorcycles. Oh, I see. For their, for, for their, is the mm -hmm. helmet jacket, uh, for them and uh, i don't know what do you say Codera, yes. what do you say i guess that's a protection right a, or pads for the body right for your elbows in those in those for cases uh, pads uh, for the elbows only 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 this is safety instruction and mm -hmm. We have a protocol, security or security protocol. Uh -huh. Security protocols. All, nice. all of them, uh, when go to the community, in pairs. Uh -huh. In pairs. Always in pairs. Always. Oh, I see. In all right. Only. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. It someone else that uses or follows this kind of security measures? No. All right. So here we go then. Well, as you can see, not all of us like work maybe in a production area where we need to use uh, this security equipment, for example, but I have here just a little uh, review on some of the vocabulary that we have studied or that we have reviewed here in this lesson. So I'm going to share my screen with you so that we can see it. So here we go. So in this short video, you're going to see some of the words that we have studied today, right? So we're going to see some of this equipment that we have mentioned. So here we, uh, here we go, listen.
All right, so there you go. We, uh, do you think that all this, wait, we have seen applies in our country, that this is applied here in El Salvador? What do you think? Maybe in Kimberly Clark, I am the mm -hmm. parecido. Yes, actually, well, Kimberly Clark, I guess I had the opportunity to work there in teaching also. I mean, to go to the, to the facilities there. And it's impressive. It's big. Uh, there, uh, there's a lot of coordination there, actually. Uh, they are very strict uh, with protocols there. Have you ever been there? Um, Maria Elena? Uh, many years ago, mm -hmm. I am um, work in- You used to work there. Um, uh, okay. Oh, I see. But in the cafeteria. In the cafeteria area. All right, nice, very good, excellent. And All right. My sister, my sister uh, worked in the cafeteria americana. Uh huh. Oh, nice. And they have a fabric in the Plan de la Laguna. Uh -huh. They have and a factory. The name, factory. The name is Central Dulcera. Mm. In there to uh, take take uh, safety. Oh, nice. Very good. Well, supposedly uh, all companies, right, that uh, for example, uh, these factories in which they process food or they process other uh, type of uh, products, right, they need to follow these uh, safety measures, right, to prevent any worker from suffering whatever accident uh, they might have, right, at work. So there must be like this, uh, Signs, there must be this coordination uh, at the workplace. Uh huh. Yes. In the ABS, also, uh -huh. you need different equipment for different areas. Mm, for I see. Example, airports, and I don't know how do you say redesilla. That's like a mail? Mail? Uh, uh -huh. For, uh, for example, in for your paper rings, mm -hmm. yes, use a uh, uh, uh -huh. uh, for the protection for the noise and uh, for the noise uh, the protection for the material. Oh, and also in, in other areas, you other areas, use, uh -huh. uh, in the area of facility. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay, and to in other areas, use Glove and Google. And mm -hmm. Google's, uh -huh. Well, Google, actually, uh -huh. yeah. nice. And, and <laughs> okay, very good, nice. Well, that's a, like probably the most common things, right? Gloves, a Google's, a helmets, stuff like that. And sometimes like a special suit right depending on the area that you're working in so very good nice okay then if just something here that might be a little bit confusing we watch here a term here it says canteen right canteen no es cantina right so no I creo que a saber a donde está el trabajador ahí so canteen it's just another word for cafeteria. It's the same. If at schools, for example, they also have canteens, the school's a canteen. So it's also the same term to, a, to make reference 
and this one here, esta que les muestro acá. So canteen. Se ve bastante parecida a la palabra cantina en español, pero no. O sea, la cara del chavo, sí. <ríe> a saber qué onda ahí. Tiene la nariz bien colorada, pero bueno. Anyway, son cositas, ¿verdad? So it's a cafeteria. It's just a synonym. There you go. Okay, then. So I'm going to pass a attendance for the last time. And let me see. All right, then I'll let you go. So here we go. By the way, um, today, according to the, to the order that we had, should be, well, Jose Eduardo, but Jose Eduardo is not here. Uh, then we can continue with Juan Carlos Rivas. Can you stay, Juan Carlos, uh, some minutes after the class? In this moment, teacher, todavía tengo, no me gusta hablar mucho ahorita porque todavía me tengo uh -huh. acceso de todos. No sé si se podrá pasar. Oh, para otro día. okay. Yeah, sure. Let's reschedule. So then the next in the list is Karen. Do you, can you make it today, Karen? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So then I'll stay with you if, like just 10 minutes after the class just to talk a little bit about the well, feedback or any questions that you might have. Okay. All right, so then uh, here we go with the attendance. So we have Ana Beatriz Campos. Present. Thank you very much, uh, Beatriz. Uh, then we have Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present, teacher. All right, thanks, Blanquita. <sighs> then with Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Then we have Carlos Javier Crespin. Present teacher. Thanks, Carlos Javier. Uh, then we have Christian Ernesto Lasso. Present teacher. Thanks, Christian. Uh, then we have Denise Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Grisel. Uh, next, we have Ember Giovanni Polillo. Present. All right, thank you very much, Ember. Uh, then we have Francisca Elizabeth Martinez, but I guess uh, she was not present today. <clears throat> Sorry. So we have then Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez, but I guess he is not here as well. So we have Juan Carlos Rivas Covel. Right here, teacher. All right, thank you, Juan Carlos. Then we continue with Karen Vanessa Morataya. Thank you very much, uh, Karen. Then we have Luis Alfonso Martinez. Thank you very much, Luis. Then we have Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot, Maria Elena. And then we have Nelson Gabarrete Merino. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Nelson. Then we have Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. Thank you very much, Omar. Uh, next, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present. Thank you, Oscar. And last but not least, uh, Jenny Suleima Santos. Present teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Jenny. Okay, then. So, uh, well, just an observation. Uh, well, we are about to complete the second uh, week, right? On Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, just something there about the exam. We are about to, to complete the midterm uh, exam. I guess it's going to be uh, at some point during this week. Pregunta, ¿cómo han realizado los exámenes en los niveles anteriores. Um, ellos los dejan hacerlo o ellos se toman un tiempo en clase para hacerlo o solo se los asignan. ¿Cómo han trabajado con los exámenes? Cada so, quien lo hace en una plataforma. Ajá. Ajá, ok. Y, pero dentro de la clase o fuera de ese tiempo. Fuera de ese tiempo. Como oh, que fuera así. una tarea. 
Ah, ya, ok. Como solamente si avanzáramos en la plataforma, avanzamos uh -huh. también con el examen cada uno ahí. Uh -huh. Ah, ya, chivísimo, ok. Y con la, con la tarea 6 se resolvió. Fíjese, fíjese que no me han dicho nada, pero creo que por ahí tengo mi, mi teoría con la tarea 6. Se la voy a... Se lo voy a explicar así rapidito acá. Y aquí está. Ok. Creo que era, me decían, esta es la tarea 6. Um, ¿Qué número la era? La 3. La... Ajá. La 3 y la... Sí, en 5. En 5. Ah, va. Ok. No, no, no. No te pienso en son Ajá. dos, tío, son como dos. Sí, yo creo sí, que... Esas son, sí, esas son las tres, la tres y las cinco. La sí, sí, yo me acuerdo que esas eran. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, la sí, verdad. Nice. Ok. So, acá en la tres y pretty much, I would say, como dice, encuentra el error y, cor y corríjalo, ¿no? So, uh -huh. acá, there are, there are three distribution centers in Ilopango. Si la tienen así y a pesar de eso se las ha puesto mal y sí, vea, estaría mal. Revisar si le pusieron el punto, ¿verdad? A la oración. Creo que a veces hasta por un puntito, nada, ¿verdad? Pero se la pusieron. Sí, pero le hemos puesto, bueno, yo con, le he puesto el punto. Con punto y sin punto. Punto, punto, <ríe> y con, nada, Comenzando mira. con mayúscula y nada. Ajá, y nada, va. Entonces, sí, yo igual le puse así, le puse de otra forma. Y de nada. la forma le puse lo mismo. Va, chévere. Entonces, eso definitivamente no. En la 5 dice, there are not person it's work. There are not people, right? There are not people. Por ahí alguien le había puesto persons. Y no, sería there are not people. Tampoco se puede con ti, se dice. ¿Tampoco lo agarró? No. Lo he intenté de diferente forma. ¿Y nada? Teacher. Intenté, ah, pues no. eh, Teacher. o sea, como solo como... Contractado y todo. Ajá. E intenté hacerlo de singular, también, también las palabras. Por Ajá. ejemplo, there is not a person. Uh, cerca de uno solo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y nada. Pero me que no funciona, tendría que, que llenarlo usted y, y compruebarlo. Mm -hmm. Ok, so, anyway, se lo pusieron así entonces y nada, vea. Oscar por ahí nos puso, there are not people to work. Ajá, so, exactly. Si no lo agarró ni así, ah, definitivamente entonces, y, bueno, dice Oscar que sí, sí, la última... sí, sí lo agarró, la número 5 sí lo agarró. Sí lo agarró. Ah, yeah. there you go. Entonces, no sé qué onda ahí, pero sí tendría que ser there are not a people, people. Right? in vez de persons to work. Ah, so, yeah. ahí sí no me ha probado. Ajá, uh, oh, nice. Yo okay. sí, yo sí, y, y está buena. Sí pasó, vea. Ah, va, chévere. Ah, pues sí, en eso estamos bien. Solo la 3, que definitivamente, you. nice. Creo que si no... Teacher, y en la 3 se le quita la S de centers. There is three, there are three distribution centers. Yo ya probé y nada. No, <ríe> tendría que ley llevar distribution centers, porque es plural. So, no, esa la 3 sí creo que, que debe ser algo de la plataforma, right? So, no worries. A ver qué me, si me contestan, les confirmo mañana, pero ahí no se preocupen por esa... Porque les ha bajado ese punto en la número 3 al menos, porque no, no es cosa suya, diría yo. Ok, okay. so, well, thank you very much, guys, eh, for staying today in the class. As always, a pleasure. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams, people. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, night. Teacher. Good night, night. Compa. Good night teacher. Bye -bye. Good night. Take Bye -bye. care, people. Bye-bye. Okay. There you go. Nice. Solo me quedo con Karen Vanessa and Karen Vanessa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good. Okay, then. So, Karen, let's see.
Karen, Karen. All right. So this, uh, well, five minutes that we have a uh, left, Karen, uh, they are just in case, well, you have some question, something that maybe it's not that clear about, not just the topics that we have studied so far. It can be any topic uh, from previous levels, any questions you might have about the language, any doubt you might have, Karen. Okay. No me esperaba tener la sesión hoy. <risa> sí, yo sé, fue una sorpresa. Quiero revisar lo que había hizo el módulo anterior. ¿Por qué ah. no me gustó el módulo anterior y solo entré a las clases por entrar? <risa> <risa> ok, sí. pero no se, no se repite el caso. <risa> Ajá, no. Entonces, okay. Pero creo que lo que me quedó mayor duda fue cómo usar los imperativos. Ah, ya, ok. So, los imperativos. Y prácticamente, Karen, lo utilizamos para dar eh, indicaciones. Eh, creo que mucha gente tiene como el concepto de que el imperative eh, es para mandarlo, ¿no? es como de eh, dar una orden en sí. Porque usualmente confundimos el uso del imperative, solo la acción con el uso de imperatives con auxiliares. Eh, que era algo que le explicaba a alguien la semana pasada también y mucha gente eh, de hecho ah, tiene la idea del imperative con must como cuando yo digo you must eh, for example complete the report tomorrow you must complete the report tomorrow y acá sí o sea no hay no hay Vuelta de hoja, hasta le estoy diciendo a alguien que de plano tiene que hacerlo. Eh, sí es una orden. Es la función del auxiliar, el imperativo usando el auxiliar. Eh, lo mismo nos pasa cuando ocupamos have to. So, you have to complete the report tomorrow. Lo mismo, es una, una rayita abajo, digamos, eh, en cuanto a, a la orden que le estoy dando a alguien para que no suene tan tan pesado quizás, utilizaría el have to. Eh, sin Pero, embargo, ¿ah? entonces, ¿uso o no uso el más? Depende. Sí se puede. Y, pero depende qué tanto énfasis usted le quiere poner a lo que va a decir. Si usted quiere ser bien enfática de que no es como opcional que me lo va a entregar sí, mañana. Sí, sí, sí. Cabal, o sea, si así es a secas, que quiere decir, ah, porque a veces tenemos que decir las cosas así, ¿no? Y lamentablemente, <ríe> so, entonces sí ocuparíamos el must, si yo de plata te quiero mandar ese mensaje a alguien, ¿no? Si no, si pues no quiero sonar tan, tan así, entonces podría ocupar have to. Ahora bien, lo que nosotros hemos visto, o lo que nosotros vimos, eh, la semana pasada o hace unos días es el uso de, de, de imperatives pero solo como commands ¿verdad? como cuando yo digo eh, push the red button to start en este caso estoy ocupando un imperative Ajá. pero es solo como una indicación no es una orden. So, por eso creo que al, a algunos como que les quedó eso de, bueno, pero son imperatives, pero no son tan imperatives, ¿verdad? o sea, no son tan, eh, no, no me suenan a que, a que sean una orden. Y, y es precisamente por eso, por la diferente idea del auxiliar. Y este tiene de nombre imperative, pero en, en sí es por la estructura, no por la intención. La intención es más eh, la de una indicación o la de un, eh, por ejemplo, una, una secuencia de, de pasos ¿no? que, que se puede utilizar para realizar cualquier cosa, ¿no? X, trae, X tarea, ¿no? So push the red button to start. Y, for example, introduce, introduce the paper in the machine, y etcétera, etcétera. ¿verdad? Prácticamente es una descripción de pasos, right? So there you go. Eso en cuanto al uso de imperativos, como lo hemos visto en este módulo. 
Ah, okay, que lo estoy anotando. <laughs> nice, good. So there you go. No sé si que tal vez quedará un poco más clara la idea, sí. Ya visto de, de, de las dos perspectivas. Sí, de hecho sí queda más claro. Super, nice. Chivísimo. Este, <laughs> con respecto a lo otro, porque sí, yo sé, la, la agarré en curva eh, con, el, con haberlo hecho ahora sí de repente. Pero se puede repetir y creo que, bueno, cuando terminemos el, de aquí a que terminemos el módulo, nos faltan, nos van a quedar, digamos, dos semanas. Entonces, en ese tiempo siempre quedan como esos espacios en los que puede, puede volver a, a, a tomar estos diez minutos mm. y se le quedará el espacio, chivísimo, ella me trae todas esas preguntas o todas esas dudas que quedaron del anterior, <risa> no, con, gusto, con gusto lo podríamos revisar, ¿no? Sí, es que en el módulo pasado, es más, ni siquiera tuve mis 10 minutos. <risa> Uy. Entonces, no. Dijeron, ah, no, ya no hay tiempo, adiós yo. Ah, <risa> <risa> güey, qué yuca. ¿Y qué, quién habrá sido el teacher o la teacher? No se acuerdan. No me acuerdo. Pero me tocó dos módulos seguidos y yo ya no quería. Uy, de, de River, de castigo. Ya no quería. Uy, la... Sí. Qué lucha. Bueno, ojalá que ya, no, que ya no se le repita la pesadilla. Sí. Es que no me gustaba tampoco cómo pronunciaba. Ah, ok. O sea, sí que yo pronuncio bien, pero también sé escuchar, entonces. Nice, pero qué bueno, o sea, qué bueno que, que de hecho note esas cosas, pues, porque. Y eh... no me corrigen, me gusta que no me corrijan, porque sé que yo hay cosas que no las digo bien, o no soy segura, entonces no me gusta que no me corrijan. <risa> nice, so good, there you go, that's the thing, o sea, así debería de ser el, el estudiante ideal. <risa> que aceptara la corrección y todo. Nice, me parece. So, I'm going to push you then. <laughs> so nice. Very good. Okay. So, well, thank you very much, actually, for uh, just staying uh, these extra minutes after the class. If at some point we can have the chance again, let's do it, right? I'll be more than glad to help you. Okay. Nice, thank Karen. You. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good night then, Karen. Uh, get some rest, and I'll see you tomorrow. We see you. Okay, Karen. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.